So the next level would be the competition is coming, but it's coming in a different way. So, so the way that the competition comes is that right now there are, are labs around the world trying to figure out a solution for the battery. There are, there are companies around the world trying to figure out how can we do battery storage? Because I think everybody agrees we're going all electric. This is not this is not in question. We're going all electric. So if we're going all electric, there's going to have to be batteries. And the batteries are going to take care of the problem that there's not wind 24-7, there's not, there's not solar 24-7. So what do we do? How do we capture that energy? And also... Um, use software in order to make sure that it's being distributed at the right time when it's needed. So those are things that Tesla is going to shine on. I don't see them ever being caught in this type of thing. However, there is going to be other ways to store this energy. And there's going to be a bunch of them. So for instance, uh, one of those they call gravity, gravity batteries. You've probably read about gravity batteries. Yep. They're developing all kinds of the gravity batteries. The most likely one and the hardest one to do is water coming off of a cliff we'll call it coming out of a pond onto a cliff and then being pumped back up into the pond this is probably the least expensive way to do gravity storage but it's also you have to have the cliff and a pond <laughs> you, have to have, you, have, you have to have the water and you have to have the cliff so it's a little hard geographically to come up with a bunch of this but you take that same cliff and you now drop rocks off of it. Let's big monster boulders or pipes or whatever you want, you know, pipes filled with sand or something. You have a heavy object. You drop the, the product off the side of the cliff during the day uh, when you need it. And you, pump, I mean, sorry, during the night when you need it and you pump it back up and to the top. Just for the audience, as the, the object or water falls down the hill, it turns some kind of device that basically becomes a turbine or whatever and generates electricity and then when you and then when you're pushing the stuff back up the hill you basically run the thing the other direction and you put energy back in to store the energy back to store the energy back up right. so i i i think i i'm going to disagree with you on this that as the cost of batteries comes down and the cost of battery electric storage gets more and more competitive and these other ideas are not going to become less expensive they're not going to become more competitive. They're going to become less competitive over time. And it doesn't matter. There, There is ample battery storage competition for Tesla. LG Chem makes battery storage products. CATL makes battery storage products. Other companies make battery storage products. Tesla's moat there, if, if we're going to say that, is their software is better. And I think also their manufacturing is more efficient. So um, it, well, definitely. definitely. But, but Tesla doesn't, doesn't usually gets better as manufacturing over time. Iterating is important. I think the Chinese are, <laughs> the Chinese in particular, and the Koreans are very good, and there's a good chance that they'll come up with that. But I, the the reason why I think that matters less than others might think is because we need three hundred was it three hundred terawatt hours, right? Of batteries uh, deployed. I think that's a deployed. That's a number. total. That's a total deployed number. Right. right. So by the time you get to twenty thirty. And you're you're producing, let's say Tesla's producing 20 terawatt hours, or sorry, three terawatt hours, terawatt hours worth of products a year, and the rest of the world is producing with Tesla together. Everybody's producing 10 terawatt hours a year. It's going to take 30 years to produce enough battery, enough battery involved products to get to that 300 terawatt hours. So the demand, this is the problem: is yes, there will be other companies producing similar products, but the demand is so outsized. And the benefit is so great that I, I'm not convinced the price comes down much, if at all. I can see why it would come down, but you know, right now, Megapack is priced at four million dollars, three point nine million. Sorry, it's 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 two million dollars for a three point nine megawatt hour pack. Right. If you order one, you have to wait until twenty late 2024, early 2025 to get it. The demand is off the charts. The 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 value proposition for somebody buying a mega pack is so great that people are buying it at the current price. And I don't think that's going to change the, the cost of electricity. And you know, this is one of those things like the cost of current grid electricity is going up until we scale solar and wind maybe to such a really high volume that they're the bulk of the energy that's generated. Mm -hmm. The competition is really coal-based electricity, natural gas-based electricity, oil-based electricity, thinking of the competition as gravity, battery storage, or 
uh, other companies making batteries misses the point that the real competition that all these environmentally friendly and en sustainable energy solutions are competing together to displace old energy to displace old transportation and until they reach a much larger share of the market which i think is significantly after 2030 there's no downward pressure on price from competition because they're all making a lot of money competing against the fossil fuel based industry yeah so i'm going to i'm going to agree with you and then disagree with you so let's say that at least to 27 28 there's going to be way more demand for energy storage than there is uh, supply and that is going to be one of the things because when you have a vacuum what happens in a vacuum you are going to get all kinds of people saying hey i can make energy storage for you so that could be in the form of other kinds of batteries and i think there will be multiple 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 different formats and and methods and ways of doing literal battery storage but in addition there will be these other methods and and uh, in addition to these ones we've talked about in gravity storage they're doing them down inside old mines uh, inside old uh, uh, um, uh, caves, they're doing them inside. They're doing a bladder in the, that they bury in the ocean under the wind farms that are in the ocean, and so this bladder blows up and goes down based on the need. And the bladder is apparently really inexpensive, will last a very very long time, and works beautifully for an ocean setting compared to a battery. So there's a lot of stuff, and who knows what the next one might be? So we don't know in the next seven years you know, what kinds of things could be uh, introduced that could be a, a major, major impact on this. And my and again, the S-curve, in order for an S-curve to work, there has to be a lot of product to fill the S-curve. And I think there will be plenty of entrepreneurs out there who are going like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do this. And that, and we're going to be able to uh, to, to contribute uh, to this uh, to this curve. Now, when the curve gets to 28, 29, when it starts to flatten out and there is enough uh, uh, to meet demand, then you start to get the situation, this is where I disagree with you, is where the price starts to have to come down because now the, de the demand and the supply are, are, I, uh, are getting closer together. I think we agree in principle, we just disagree on when that happens. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.